Hey, a pleasant good day everybody and late morning or early afternoon depending when you watch this video. This is Sports Fanatic News, I'm Joe Boric and it was a pleasant good evening for our Philadelphia Flyers last night as they have the winner from Cam Atkinson who was on a scoring drought so we look to get Cam going again firing on all cylinders literally as he fires the puck with the best of them, and hasn't been having the same shooting output as he's been in his little slump, and he was able to get the great rebound goal, smartly shot on that by Sean Couturier for the rebound, that was also assisted by Ivan Provorov for his third assist of the season, as he played a very good game as well, and also to the people <clears throat> that I've seen on social media, Facebook groups mainly, not really Twitterverse for this, about Provorov and the fact that he hasn't been the same in terms of other defensemen points total. That's not really what Provy's paid for. He's paid to play a great complete game, and then he puts up points in the process where obviously the guy you grabbed in Ryan Ellis does put up more points because he's on the power play and does that jazz. Mm -hmm. Keith Yondel does put up more points because he's on the power play and does all that jazz. Obviously, he doesn't play the two-way game of Ellis or Ivan Provorov, but that's why those are the defensemen you expect to have more of a point output. Provy, you expect to do a little bit of everything and do a very good job at doing a little bit of everything. That's why you brought in Ellis and to be able to kind of take his, damping his minutes down a little bit so you're not overtaxing Provy as well as Yandel so you can use both of them on the power play and not always have to use Provy. Obviously, that did not work out as well early in this season. But it's something that the Flyers hope settles itself down, and Ryan mm -hmm. Ellis will be healthy more so in the second half of the season. But this was a very good game last night when it came to the output. We got the goal by Kevin Hayes where he looked up to the sky. That was an absolutely beautiful moment as he scored that one for Jimmy, his brother, who unfortunately passed this summer. Rest in peace, of course, still to Jimmy Hayes and prayers up to the Hayes family and all of his great many friends in the NHL, including Matthew Kachuk of the Calgary Flames, and of course Johnny Goudreau, who many hope, including myself, is potentially a future flyer. So this uh, game was just really well played. It was a very good pace. There was great pace back and forth each game. You had two of the team, or two of the teams. Two of the, you did have two of the team's premier goalies, but you had two of the league's premier goalies going up against each other and Jacob Markstrom who's been playing like a bat out of hell to start this season and Carter Hart who's been doing the exact same thing so you had these guys stand up and stand on their heads just as you would expect uh the Flyers had 43 shots on goal the Flames at 34 so there was no shortness of chances in this game no shortness of shots. Uh, both teams were firing on all cylinders. I feel It felt like Johnny Goudreau was honestly auditioning for the Flyers because he never shot the puck. Obviously, we know Goudreau is a very good playmaker that also has a very good scoring touch, but it can pass with the best of them. I think his biggest shot total before yesterday was 7 or 8 in the game. I think he shot it 13 or 14 times last night and also had a nice pass to Lindholm that Hart was able to um save him on on the one play. So... I think that like that honestly felt like he always has extra motivation here and always plays the Flyers well. But yesterday, it felt like Johnny Goudreau had the ante up a little bit like, hey, I'm here. I'm here to take next offseason. I'm from here. Like It looked like he kind of had that vibe going to him um, while playing the game. And that was fun to watch since we won the game. He's always a fun player to watch when he's playing at his best. And we won the game. So that... That always leaves uh, the, the the fact that you can enjoy watching some of the players, other really good teams, and how they did when you come out on top and your goaltender's a beast of the East in Carter Hart and is playing absolutely amazing. Now, obviously, for a Philadelphia Flyers, <clears throat> it's not getting any easier. It's actually probably getting more challenging as you go on to take the defending back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champion the Tampa Bay Lightning, who are starting to, after losing some catch after their second Stanley Cup, figure it out again a couple games into this season and are 8-3-3 three, and three, and really have been a very good team in the last handful of games. If we go to their last 10, they're 6-3-1, and one, and they are 4-1-1 one, and one away and 4-2-2 two, and two at home. So thus far, the Tampa Bay Lightning actually have been playing slightly better 
on the road, which is what they're going to be doing on Thursday, than what they have um, at home. So I do, I'll do. i talk about that more in the preview that I do for that game tomorrow. Tonight I'll be covering for Flyers Nitty Gritty in Lehigh. I normally do the Reading games, but they're off to Friday. And Samantha Wiseman, the wonderful cover, the wonderful reporter, excuse me, that covers the Phantoms for Flyers Nitty Gritty, is going as a fan and enjoying the game in that capacity tonight. And uh, we wish her, obviously, um, very good success in bringing the team luck from a fan perspective and cheering them on in the stands because I feel that you can't cheer them on in the press box. You got to just watch the game. But um, I definitely have been loving watching her coverage of the Phantoms all season. Hopefully I can do at least somewhere near as good of a job as she has done. And uh, hopefully I'll get to see my good um, friend that I formed a little bit of a friendship with him, Tony Andrakis, tonight, who's a very good AHL reporter and does fantastic job himself on the AHL. But this has been a reaction to the wonderful win that the Flyers had 2-1, to one, led by the great pace of the game, a great star in Carter Hart being a star of this game again, Cam Atkinson being a star of this game, getting the game-winning goal, and then, of course, Kevin Hayes is getting the first star of this game for being able to score the first goal and scoring it for Jimmy and pointing to the sky. Peace out, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. Let's keep the winning ways going and that bring it to broad energy going, Flyers. A 2-1 win over a very good Calgary Flames team. Let's keep that same energy going against Tampa tomorrow. Peace out, everybody.